Welcome back guys to another video. You got Misfit Chris here and today we're going to talk a little bit about a sad subject. Uh, GameStop, both locations on Guam are closing. They're going to be closed by the end of April. Um, so we're going to go over my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, my first thought is I'm sad because I won't just be able to go down to a local game store and check out physical games anymore. Hopefully somebody local will pick up the slack and start bringing in games. I don't care if they're a little bit higher priced because I would still buy them. Um, so I, apparently uh, GameStop has been out here since 1999. A buddy of mine told me that GameStop's been out here since that time. So um, that's quite a long time right so um it's a uh, bittersweet uh the managers i mean i know a lot of them personally and they're all you know sad uh, you know that this is happening you know and um you know i was a regular customer i was always going into gamestop and checking out the the new stuff they had um so this is different than like when you live in the states you know where you can drive a county over to like the next, you know, uh, local GameStop, you know? So, I mean, we're out here on Guam. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, we will never see GameStop again. Um, if we ever did and it was like a reboot like Toys R Us, I mean, I would be grateful for it, but I don't see that happening for five, 10 years. I mean, I would think more like 10. So, um, you know, everything in the store right now is 10, 20 and 30% off. Um, I did get some pickups at the GameStop and, um, I'm going to share them here with you guys. So, um, first up, uh, we got, uh, Kirby, the Forgotten Land. Um, this game is awesome. If you own a Nintendo Switch and you're into this type of game, man, I mean Kirby. This is the first open world Kirby. I also got the, the Amiibo and, um... So there's a good look at that. Um, so I got that. And then I got uh, these two pens. Got these two cool pens. When you when you uh, get that, you get these two pens. When you, uh, If they have, uh, you know, stock still. And I think that's part of the problem out here on Guam, you know. I mean, I think Kirby would, like, sell out. You know, I mean, I pre-ordered and I, they still had a bunch of stuff. They still had, I'm sure they're out now, but um, because everyone's bombarding the store because it's closing and, you know, um, the sales, you know, the, the pre-owned games are 30% off. <laughs> That's a hell of a deal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, I mean, Kirby's awesome. So if you don't have that game, I mean, I'm telling you, man, it is really good. A lot of people are saying Mario Odyssey. I mean, it does have some similarities, but it's its own thing. The morphing capability and stuff in it, what you're able to morph into is freaking awesome. So, um, quick little update. I uh, got my job. I'm a school aide now, so I'm trying to learn how to juggle YouTube uh, into the schedule. So that's why I've kind of been a little bit off. You know, you haven't seen as many videos coming up, but, um, but you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, so next up is the coolest. That was actually, I just, I'm not a figure collector, but... I made an exception for this because I think they were 50 some dollars originally and then I got them they marked them down and then I got the 10% sale price new on these so first up is my uh, bebop I got this awesome bebop I mean man he is he is just killer I mean for 20 bucks I mean I'm I'm a huge turtle fans turtle fan so you know if this is your first time on the channel you don't know that but i mean i'm a huge turtle fan i mean is this for 22 bucks you can't beat these statues i mean or not statues you can't beat these figures man and i, I mean i couldn't be more pleased on the price 22 dollars for that guy um next up i got my rock steady so here's my uh here's my rock steady and uh he just looks awesome man this they did such a good job on these you know and I really wanted him for a long time. I just wasn't going to do the $50 plunge on it, you know. Um, but yeah, he is freaking awesome. Heck yeah. And then we got, you know, they have a Krang. And I'm thinking about going back and getting it. Because I've also got a Shredder. <laughs> he looks so awesome, man. He looks so freaking cool, man. Heck yeah. 
That shredder is freaking awesome. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So those are my pickups I got, plus the hat I'm wearing. I picked up this Xbox hat. Um, if you got a big head, be careful when you go to GameStop because I think this is, it fits my adult head, but it's a little small, but it's a cool hat. I think it's cool because it has like those circles, like the grill on the top of the Series X. So, um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the video and the, the pickups I got at GameStop and let me know about, uh, what you think about our GameStops closing out here on Guam. Because, I mean, man, it is sad, man. Honestly, I think my buddy was more sad than me. I'm like, I can just go online. Now it's going to boil down to um, uh, just online shopping. I tried going, actually, I tried going on GameStop and using coupons. And because of the sales tax in California, uh, it almost, almost like the discount, your $5 discount every month if you're a pro member. And then if you try to use a coupon, it's almost like it doesn't even really make a difference. You don't feel it like if you use it in the store because they'll let you double that up. They'll let you double up the monthly pro member, $5. And then if you have a $5, for, they'll let you double that. But it doesn't even make a difference when you're online. So um, for me, it's going to be more eBay and whatnot. Um, everybody, I got approved to be a seller on whatnot. So... Um, I don't know if it's for me personally. Um, I know it hasn't been for some other people, other YouTubers, and they've tried it out and it wasn't for them. I don't know um, if it's gonna be for me, but I do wanna try it out, uh, that, that platform, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna at least have a live sale. So um, I will let you guys know um, when that's gonna be live and when you can go up and uh, you know bid on my auctions. Um, so um, if you don't know what whatnot is, it's been out for a little while now and it's getting more widespread. And, you know, a lot of the pe red people in the retro game community and gaming community, you know, know what that is now. Um, basically, it's an auction service um, for video games, new and old. And you just put in your, uh, you know, your payment information and it's just instant. As soon as you bid, um, the, you know, the game, you win the bid and the, and the game, the game is bought as long as your payment clears. Um, so yeah, um, man, you know, like, yeah, it's going to be a bummer not to be able to go down there and get physical copies of game and games anymore, pre-order through GameStop, because that's pretty convenient. Now it's the, now that a lot of the pre-ordering, I just, I reversed my Calabunga collection, Evil Dead's coming out, and I reversed both of those to Amazon, you know, so now it's going to be pre-ordering on Amazon. So yeah, the physical experience, it's like, can't go into a Blockbuster anymore, you know, so, um, so yeah. Um, when I go up on whatnot, um, there's definitely going to be video games and VHS, and I might throw in some other oddball things in my auctions too. Um, there'll be at least one system in the first auction when I go up. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in today. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give my video a like if you like this kind of content. Um, I appreciate it each and every one of you stopping by and tuning into my video and uh till the next time guys bye